In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and most current method for setting up a WhatsApp AI agent on N8N. We're going to be able to send a message to a standard WhatsApp number and it is going to use our entire N8N workflow to process a response. In this case, we can build an AI agent and then it can respond directly through that exact same number, just like a chat agent. So I'm going to go ahead and send this agent a message. I'm going to say, who are you? And it is going to go ahead and you'll see on the screen now it is processing that request. It has seen my message and there it is. It has just responded. I'm ChatGPT, an AI language model, blah, blah, blah. It's responded to my question. The AI agent worked perfectly. So to get started, the first thing that we're going to need is the WhatsApp trigger. This is going to allow us to send a message. It's going to trigger that message and then run our flow. We can get this pretty easily by clicking the plus button in the top right. Just search for WhatsApp and you will see the WhatsApp trigger will populate in this list. Once you've clicked on that, this will then land on your page. Of course, we can double click into this and we're going to see at the top here credential to connect with. So this is what I'm going to run through exactly how you can connect your Meta account, your Facebook account, which is all connected to WhatsApp uh, directly to this so we can start talking to it. So just clicking onto this box and clicking create new credential, we're going to see here that we need a client ID and a client secret. So in order to get this, we need to go to business.facebook.com. So this right here is business.facebook.com. You'll probably get a login page initially. You just have to log into your Facebook account, whatever your main one is. Uh, and once you've logged in, you're going to land on this main page right here. If you don't have a business account or a business portfolio currently connected to your Meta account, it might not populate with the page like this. You may have to click in the top left and then click create a business portfolio. Once you do have this set up and you do have a business page to work with, just go to the bottom left and click settings. Once you've clicked on settings, you're going to land on this page right here. Just go down to the sort of middle of the left hand side and click on the apps button. Once we've done that, we're going to get this pop up right here. It's going to say, what do you want to do? It's going to give us three options. Just click the top option right here. Now, initially, if you're just setting up your account, this option might be blocked and you may have to verify your account with a phone number or a credit card. That's very easy to do. Once you've done that, you'll be able to create the new app ID. Once you've done that, you're going to land on this page right here. What we're going to be doing is creating an app name so we can just name this anything we'd like. I'm going to call this the N8N demo. Obviously, you can name it whatever you want. If you're going to be using this specifically for the WhatsApp integration on N8N, you could just name it N8N something. Then we're going to click next and jump to the use cases. This doesn't really matter. We're just going to click other. Then I'm going to hit next. Then we're going to select an app type. Now I'm going to select the business because we are going to be using WhatsApp right here. If you're also setting up for WhatsApp, of course, do select the business one, don't select the consumer one and just hit next. Once you've done that, we're going to land on this next page right here. Don't have to change anything. This is just confirming your details. Just hit create app. Once your app has been created, you're going to land on this page right here. You're going to get a big panel with a bunch of apps. All we're going to be needing is the WhatsApp one, of course. So just click the setup button right here. Once you've done that, you're going to land on this page right here, this sort of main panel. All we need to do is click in the top left, click on app settings and then click on basic. Once you've done that, we are now on the final page for this integration. We've got the app ID and the app secret. So all we need to do is copy this app ID, just copy and paste. We're going to jump back into N8N and the client ID is where this value is going to go. So I'll just copy and paste that into there. Once again, app ID is the client ID and then we're going to get an app secret. I can hit show and then copy it and then I can paste that in the client secret. So I've just pasted that client secret in here now as well. I haven't showed it because it's a secret API key, although just make sure to copy that and paste it right here. Once you've done that, just click in the top right and click save. When we do that, we should get a green box pop up that says connection tested successfully. So awesome. That has now worked and the first setup is now done. So the next thing that I'm going to do is just plug this directly into an AI agent. So I'm going to click on the plus button. I'm going to click AI and I'm going to click AI agent. I'm just doing this to obviously showcase that this thing works, uh, but obviously you can build whatever workflow, whatever agent setup that you want within this WhatsApp integration. Now that I've added the AI agent step, I'm just going to quickly connect a chat model so that we can actually use this and talk to it over WhatsApp. So I'm going to add the open router model. This is just going to give our agent a brain so we can actually process some responses. Next, I am going to add some memory so that each of our messages gets stored within the conversation so we can actually talk back and forth with our agent. I'm just going to click on simple memory, super easy. What we can do is actually change this session ID so it works uh, for the, every phone number. So when I message it, it remembers every message I ever sent it. Uh, so we can do that, but I can jump into that later. But otherwise, we do still have one setup connection required to have the full on WhatsApp system working. So we can send a message to this agent, but we obviously still need to receive the message back. 
So what we can do is click on the plus button right here. We can search WhatsApp once again. We're gonna click on the WhatsApp business cloud and we're gonna click on send a message. Now, a bit annoyingly, the connection and the credential for sending the message uh, on this particular module is actually different to the WhatsApp trigger. So what we can do is jump into send message. If I click on the credentials and we click create new credential, we'll see here this time we need an access token and a business account ID. So these are two different values and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get them. So coming back to this page on your Facebook developers dashboard, if we just go to the bottom left where it says WhatsApp, if we click on this, we're gonna see API setup. So just click on that. So once you've landed on this page right here, just scrolling down a little bit to sort of the middle of the page, we've got the phone number right here, which is a test number. Obviously, if you're setting this up for a production environment, you're not gonna wanna use the test number, although I am just gonna use this for the purpose of the demo. What you can do is click into here and actually add a phone number. So you can add whatever other phone number you want to use for this WhatsApp connection. So once you've selected the phone number that you want to use, we also need a recipient phone number. So the actual messages where they're gonna get sent off to. So in this case, I can click onto here and I've just gone ahead and added my own phone number, which was connected to my Meta account, although you will need to obviously add your specific phone number. Now, once that's done, we can click a generate access token right here with a big blue button. That's gonna give us a big pop-up. It's gonna tell us to just continue with our account, making sure that we're logged in. It's gonna give us this page right here, which says, choose the WhatsApp account you want the NNN demo to access. In my case, we can either opt it in to use the current WhatsApp account only, which is this test account, or we can opt it into all current and future WhatsApp accounts. I'd recommend just doing the top one so it works every time. Then we can hit continue. It's gonna ask us if we are agreeing to the tools that it's gonna to use. Just hit save, that's all good. And that's everything that we need. And once that's done, we can then hit the got it button at the bottom here, that is all ready to go. Now that that's done, we've got this access token at the top here. We just hit the copy button and copy that entire code, jump back to NNN and you'll see the access token is obviously where we're gonna paste the access token. Jumping back here, we're gonna see in the sort of middle of the page, the WhatsApp business account ID. That's exactly what we need as well. So jumping back to NNN, we can type and paste the business account ID in here as well. I can hit the save button and hopefully we should get that green box once again, connection tested successfully. Uh, if yours doesn't test successfully, obviously just make sure that those values are set correctly uh, and then that should be good to go. So once you've done that and your credentials are all set up, we've got a few values that we'll need to populate in this particular module. Number one, we've got the sender phone number or ID. So we can get this by jumping back to that Facebook page and just copying this phone number ID. We can just hit copy, we can jump into NNN. And what we can do is either paste that phone number ID into the expression field right here, or what we can do is click on fixed. And if we actually click on this drop down, we will actually get our phone number, which is coming from our credential connection. Below this, we've got the recipient's phone number. So in my case, I'm just gonna add in my phone number, but obviously you can add in whoever is gonna be receiving the message. And then all the way at the bottom, we have the text body. So this is gonna be the actual WhatsApp message that is being sent back to the user. In this case, I'm just gonna type test just to see that it works. And then we can populate the fields later. So now that those connections are all set up, I'm gonna hit the execute workflow button at the bottom here. I'm then gonna go ahead and send a message to our WhatsApp number. So just grab that number from the Facebook page add it into WhatsApp as a contact, and then you can just send it a message. So I'm gonna say, hello, we're gonna send that off. Hopefully that gets detected. It's been detected uh, and we'll see an error has just popped up on our agent. That is understandable. So we're gonna click into this and we're gonna see that the connected chat trigger node is where it is thinking to get its messages from. All that we need to do is just click into this, click define below. We're gonna see in the bottom left here, the message, we just need to drag that hello message that I just sent through and we're gonna drop that right into the user message. So before it was looking at the wrong area as to what message to proceed with. So it didn't get any message. It wasn't able to do anything, but now it's actually looking at the WhatsApp messages. So that is all good to go. Then next we've got our memory module. So if we are going to be capturing all of the messages in the conversation and essentially referencing them to have a conversation that has memory, what we can do is click on the session ID at the top here, click define below, and I'm gonna click on mapping in the top left. We're then gonna map the key, so the sort of unique identifier for each conversation to the phone number of the user that's talking to us. So this just means that every individual that messages this particular WhatsApp agent is going to have its own set of memory per phone number. So it's gonna remember and it's gonna use that as the key. So now that that's all set up, I'm gonna hit save once again, and I'm gonna click execute workflow. I'm gonna jump back into WhatsApp and I'm gonna send it the same message, so hello. 
That should go through. And what we should get back is a message that says test. So there we go. We've got the message. Awesome. That has now worked. Uh, so the reason it says test and it isn't responding to us is because I didn't actually add in the AI agent output in this particular case. So what we can do now is delete test. We can go to the top left where it says AI agent. I can grab that output and just drag it into the text body that will now connect our agent to the send message so we can have a proper conversation now. What we can also do is click the inactive button or the activate button at the top right here as well. This is going to make it so we don't have to actually execute the workflow every single time to talk to our agent. So now if I jump into WhatsApp, finally, I can send it hello and it should process our message uh, as it should. And then we have it. Hi there. How is it going? What would you like to chat about? How tall is the tallest building. So random question. Then we have it. We've got a response back to my question. And then I'm also going to demonstrate the memory part of it as well. So I'm going to tell it, is there any others? So it should be able to reference the previous message and give us some other buildings. And then we have it. We've got a big message back with a bunch of really tall buildings that it was able to reference because it had the memory of the previous message. So there we have it. Super simple, super easy to get that set up. I hope you found the video helpful. If you do want to download this template, you can actually get access to it by joining my completely free AI school community, which is linked in the description. We've got over 17,000 members. We've got 50 other AI agent templates just like this, as well as courses that is completely free.